okay now so we have discussed uh, basically from the starting we have discussed about elli ellipse all right then uh, this parabola then hyperbola so those three uh, you know curves i can say it is also called uh, conics okay it comes as conics then it curves in that different uh, topics then the second part of that one you have uh, something called uh, special curves special curves okay actually the purpose of uh, just you know studying this is you if you view an any machine component or uh, whatever it is any uh, say a computer a tv whatever it is you will not have a normally a straight line structure only in the sense it cannot be a proper rectangle or uh, maybe uh, consists of a straight and maybe a triangle also but only with the three straight lines in the close figure like this it's not possible because anything you will have a curved section or a circular section i can say which is uh, been made while they making a different assembly then they uh, assemble it together and makes a make a complete machine parts or whatever it is so on that view you are just knowing that you are going to study about what does a special curve means and in that what we have so you under special curves the first thing is we uh, called cycloid is called a cycloid the cycloid is nothing but if you just take a circle a circle just imagine in this i have uh, different uh, points i can take it as the right from your 0 degree 90 degree say uh, 180 degree and 270 degree i can say choose any points in that if you roll a circle if this circle is rolled you can be rolled in any directions in the sense either you can be uh, lifted or projected or used as a projectile you know you just throw a ball you know like a small ball you can throw it either to a along a straight line i mean horizontal line or to a projectile with a projection so if this circle is rolled say for example in a straight line in a horizontal line it will form a different structure in the sense the circle could generate or it could generate along this line and it comes finally like this can you get me if you just roll it if you consider this a ball a football or whatever a ball it is you just roll it on the floor you know it will be coming finally like this so this i can say it's called a, a generating circle okay and generating circles this is an, an end point after one revolution i can say a revolution means i just fix a point from point a to b it rolls down that's why i consider as one revolution one corner goes and it becomes like this okay and this line is called generating line so now around the line it's called generating line okay now so this is what the base is for drawing a cycloid now we go for the actual question the problem how does it appear uh, draw a cycloid a curve with uh, a diameter so i am not uh, writing the exact question what is available in the question paper i am just telling that's how you can understand diameter okay of the circle as 40 mm or 50 mm whatever may be the value any value it may be 40 or 50 mm so this was the question i am just to form, going to form a cycloid with that circle which has got a diameter of 40 mm that is how the question so basically how do you start you start with just draw a circle okay with the radius 20 mm because the diameter is 40 and you divide just uh, just make the center of the circle in horizontal and vertical wise 
and the part of the circle. Okay? And the circles, you say diameter, and you, you use symbol like this, correct? It's 40 millimeter. Okay? This is all. And what do you do? In the other end, that's to, you know, I was telling about the generating circle, it, you know, after one revolution. That calculation, how do we make? From this point, miss any fixed point, I just check this point as A. Fixed point, if you draw a horizontal line, and this line, the total length of this line, no, from point A, and point B like this, the you know, end point of that generation, generating uh, point, is will be, you calculate it to be the circumference that is of the circle that pi into the 40 millimeter. The total length of this line from point A to point B whatever it is, the distance is calculated, it is just the circumference of the circle, circumference of the total circle that is pi into this 40 value. There will be some, uh, you can multiply pi values what do you know, you can use your calculator and find a value and that would be Okay, this is, say so this is point B, where point B. So on this uh, same circle, even you can make it with a, just a line. I'm just saying, just, I'm just drawing the rough sketch. You can make it very neatly in your drawing sheet. Now what is the procedure? You draw this circle or before that you divide this say suppose this is a, it may it is pi into pi into 40 maybe some value some millimeter it is this total value distance you divide into 12 equal parts that means you can even divide into 8 equal parts if you divide this line into 8 equal parts this circle also you divide it into eight equal parts. Twelve means twelve, whatever it is. So, for example, I consider this I am uh, dividing into twelve equal parts. Okay, so I will divide it one. So this number you know, maybe it is one fifty millimeter or whatever millimeter divided by twelve, you will get the subdivisions. Some uh, ten, some centimeter level or millimeter level. You get this. So this becomes my point one, two, three, four, five, etc. It goes. The final point will be twelve. So I should have twelve divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that, till 12 it is. So that we can make it properly. So after this, if you make this line into 12 divisions, kindly make this circle is also divided into 12 equal parts. How do I make it 12 again? So this becomes 1, 2, 3, 4 only. So I will make it, say suppose 1 year, 2 year, 3 is year, I mean 4 is year, 5 should be here, 6 is here, 7, 8, this becomes 9, 10, 11, this will work. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So 12 equal parts you have to make it. Now what you do, after making this one, this let it be as it is, from these points, in the sense, this point A, okay, this is a fixed point, you should draw a perpendicular line like this. This also is just a center line. Is it okay? You connect this center to this circle. Connect it like this. Center. Is it fine? Then what you do? From this point number 1, this is point number 1 here, 2 here, you just draw a horizontal lines to this. From 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. All these lines. I can draw this like this. 6 comes top, 12 comes here, 4 here, like this. So, you can make it better, okay? This is your limit. These lines. The horizontal lines. Okay? So, this is a perpendicular line, you are making it. And that becomes your horizontal lines. Now, you just take a, this point as I take as O and this is as 
A. Okay. Now, from this point number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 12 divisions, is it not? From this each point, you make a perpendicular line to the center. See, the center point O is being connected with the center at the right hand side. So, this, so from this uh, base, base line, your base line, you make a perpendicular line for, for all this. From all these points, you make a line. So, what happens? These lines will come and touch in this center line. You mark it as this is O1. And uh, 2 may be, it, it, it won't coincide with this point. It might coincide, but when you make properly with this uh, radius in your drawing sheet, you will get the proper sketch. So, O2, O3, O4, O5, etc. It will be. It's clear. So, now what you do? After making this one, so from O1 as center and OA as radius, OA is this, O1 as center, OA as radius, you just take and, uh, you know, uh, and then I will fix OA as radius, O1 as center, you should cut it because this point is 1, see actually this point should come down because this is a curve, right? My one point is here. Base point is where is this? Base is this, and one will be among here. This is point one. And this is center point A. Point number one is here. Okay. One is here. Oh, this should be my one. This may go oh, one. Okay. I'll make a little better. Point number 1, so 1 is horizontal line from here, this may be baseline, from A it is goes. So from 1, I take OA as radius and O1 as center, you just cut this line, see this will be coming inside, this line, you cut this line from very inside. This line number 1 which passes exactly, it will also come inside, so this you cut, okay, actually to speak. Uh, the number 1 and your 11th point will be in the same uh, level and your 2 and say suppose uh, uh, 10th point or uh, like that and your 3 and 9 like that 4 and uh, your 8 almost in the same uh, you know it is in the same line. So cut this point 1 as take O1 as center and O as radius in the compass you just make an arc here like that from O2 as center again OA is radius for this line 2 it will go like this ok line 2 so you again cut and O3 as center OA is radius where is 3 here 1 2 sorry it is 1 2 1 this will be 3 4 5 6 yeah this is 3 and cut here like this when you cut it it will be like this 4, 5, 6, etc. Is that okay? So, when you try it with your proper, uh, you know, drawing sheet and your diameter, your proper horizontal line, the uh, arcs, the division, it will be perfect. Okay? You will start drawing from here. It come like this. It goes to a maximum point and then it finishes here. It may end. This is also you can divide it into same number of equal points. So this becomes your cycloid. Okay. See this structure is nothing but again I told you the basics of any machine component will not have a proper line. Okay. A proper line something like that. It will be having a curvature for to know how does we go into manufacture or a drawing will be given before the manufacturing. You are just learning this one kind of the special curve is your cycloid this is how you make it so after this what you do to this is how you are making a curve curve is over now after making the curve you should choose uh, for drawing tangent no for the previous uh, your, uh, ellipse parabola all this we are used to drawing we after finishing the curve we go for tangent drawing they are also possible to draw a tangent what do you do you just fix any point in the curve 
say suppose this point is P. So before this we are marking all these points, your 1, 2, 3, 4, this may be your 6th point, right? All this after finishing, to draw the tangent as such, what we did for your parabola, ellipse, etc., you fix this point and from this point, you take any point in this curve, say suppose this point P, keeping this as center and the radius of this circle, whole circle is diameter 40 millimeter, radius of circle that is 20 millimeter, just take uh, the 20 millimeter, cut the arc in this center line, because I will take this point as suppose D, it is a, a B, maybe O1, this is D, this is OD line, uh, keeping as point P as center and radius of this circle as the radius, you just cut this point, it will be some, somewhere cut arc here, okay. And this point, what you do, you simply, after cutting this point, simply join this point here and from this, say this suppose point is E, this one you bring it down as perpendicular line. From this, you, you are taking a radius of 20 millimeter from any point in the curve P, just taking radius of this uh, circle and you are cutting the line, the center line of O to D this line. So from this point you bring a perpendicular line down to this AB line. That's it. This will be say a point, point N. Now what you do? You join this P point and N point. This will be your tangent. Okay. And normal what is normal again? It is perpendicular. Just for this tangent you draw exactly for this a perpendicular line. That's it. This two should make a 90 degree. This is your tangent. A tangent and this is your normal. Now, that's it. So, if you draw a neat sketch using a drawing sheet, keep it in mind. First you draw a circle and that circle the other end is also circle only because it's a generating circle. The base point, any point you catch it, just draw a line for a length of your circumference of the circle pi into the given diameter value. Diameter only, not the radius, is diameter of the circle. Draw it. After that, parallel to this, from the center of the point, you make a straight horizontal line which touches the center point of the other end. That's it. Then you are dividing this line into 12 equal parts. If you are dividing this baseline to 12 equal points, the circle also make it 12 equal points. If you make it into 8 points, 8 points because the number of points are more, you get a smooth curve. That's what we have learned, right? So, make it like this. Then what you do? From all the points you are marking 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., you draw a horizontal lines. Is that okay? As well, the horizontal lines will connect to the other end of the circle. Fine. Then again, from this 1, 2, 3 points till 12 you have marked in this base line, you make a perpendicular lines which will which has to touch till point here. You can make it full also, no problem, right? Then what you do? Uh, the 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever you marked in the circle, from there equal to this parallel line, you are making it all the lines still. So your point will be 1 year, 3 year, 6 year, 9 year, in between all these points are there available. Then keeping so you are marking from 1 you bring it top, that point will be O1, 2 will be O2, 3 is O3 which is touching the center point of OD, the center line. So keeping your 1 as center and OA, OA is a common radius, this is the radius because radius of the circle itself, 1 as center, OA is radius, you are cutting this first line. Then O2 as center, again OA is radius, cutting the second line. Like this when you cut, you'll, you'll get a point just like this. You just turn it a smooth curve. Then you make a tangent with taking any point P as such. That's it. Simple curve called cycloid. Okay.